Hello and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm in the process of documenting building my very first plastic model kit. Today we're working on the chassis. I've got the engine completed and to install it we need to clean some paint away from the glue points. I was kind of surprised that such a large component of this model is only held in place by a couple of little spots of glue. But once it was in, it looked pretty good and I'm actually starting to see a Volkswagen in front of me. These little things are jack points. If you ever need to change a flat on real Volkswagen, this is where you would put the jack to lift up the car so it wouldn't damage the body. I'm using Tester's Cement for Plastic Models in the red tube. It holds pretty well, but it's really stringy stuff. Here we're attaching the rear suspension. This glue takes a while to dry, and I think I had to hold it in place for maybe three or four minutes before I got impatient and got out the super glue, which I kind of regret because it left a residue all around the area. Well, that was a happy accident. Here we have the tie rod and the left and right spindle, although I'm not certain which one's left and which one's right. Since the front suspension is articulated, you can't just glue it together. They've designed this post that sticks up through the end of the, of the frame that you take a soldering iron or a hot screwdriver and melt the end of it to uh, mushroom it so that it doesn't pull back through the hole and then you can turn the tires left and right. I gotta tell you, the front suspension on this little guy was quite a puzzle. All the parts had to go in a particular order and figuring out what was what from looking at the directions was more than a bit of a challenge, as you can see. I tried to put this in just about every conceivable position that I could think of and it was still not working right. parts were all too tight and, and I had to drill out the holes a little bit in order to get everything to work. Mostly because I had put too much paint on the chassis when I was spraying it. I think my videoing is getting better except I still have a tendency to do things out of frame so you end up dropping off the bottom of the screen or out the top somewhere. I think I actually lost a lot of good footage that way. Here. I almost forgot the shocks, but I finally got the front end together and I'm actually quite pleased with the way it turned out. Everything works like it should. Here I knocked out the firewalls right quick and then moved on to the front fenders. I 
After removing a little paint from the glue points, they also went together quite easily. As far as the molding detail goes, I believe the tires were the most impressive for me. I don't think it would take much weathering at all to make these things look real. I'm already planning to do a little bit of weathering on this model and I've been studying several other model makers techniques, but and depending on when you're watching this, I'll, I'll put a, a link up here in the corner and down in the description as soon as it's ready. So that's the chassis complete and I, I couldn't resist to test the body to see what it looked like and I think it looks pretty good so far considering I've never built a plastic model kit before. Seeing the body like that it's got me excited. I'm, I'm ready to get started on the interior so I grabbed the door panels and started masking them off. The interior door panels will be white the upholstery will be white, but the rest of the door frame and the body will be a blue color, similar to what's on the box, but a little deeper shade of blue. That'll be coming up in a future video, but the blue I've chosen, it's very similar to the box, but it matches a beetle I found on the internet that I've been using for inspiration. If I can find it again, I'll put a link to the image down in the description. When you're cutting out the mask, you want to grab a brand new blade for your X-Acto. I didn't do that, and you're about to see what can happen. I tore the mask a little bit. I was able to recover, but it could have been worse. My grandfather taught me how to mask cars, and it was amazing how those skills came back to me after 40 years, even though they are a bit rusty. I moved on to getting a few of the pieces ready for paint, but one, one more lesson I learned is when you're cleaning up your parts, getting ready for primer, you should glue up as many of the sub-assemblies as you can. That way, you're, they're all going to be the same color, so the parts would look better if they were painted together. That way, both the primer and the paint can help fill in any imperfections and, and make the seams look less obvious. Well, I think that's a good place to stop for now. Um, we're, we're getting ready to get the color out to paint the body, and I need to get the spray booth set up. So thank you very much for watching. I, I really appreciate you taking the time to get this far, and if you like what you're seeing so far, consider subscribing, and I'll make sure to let you know when I release more videos. Stay well. Thanks again.